work out. But I was reading a book um, called Women Who Love Too Much. Many of you have probably read it. Um, and so I was reading this book and it had the steps to recovery. And she talked about the ways that she... The people she had seen recover from this and the people she had seen um, not recover from this. Um, and so I wanted to share it with you guys, share her list with you guys, because I definitely agree with what this woman is saying. Um, so step one, go for help. Okay, we kind of have to admit that what we are doing on our own isn't working. We do not have the skills. Uh, we do not have, there's something missing that we cannot do it on our own. Um, and I see many women who don't go for help and they may get out of the relationship. They may go no contact. They may set boundaries, et cetera, but they don't get happy. They kind of get stuck in their house um, and just kind of hide. Okay. So first one, go get help from someone who knows what they're doing. And she talks about that in this book. Someone who knows what they're doing and knows what they're talking about and who has experienced it. And she also talked about the importance of um, finding a female uh, someone to help you that's female. So step one, go for help. Step two, make your own recovery the first priority in your life. And she talked about, oh my gosh, think of all the time and energy and effort you spent trying to cha change him or trying to change your mom. Okay. If you spent all that energy and effort trying to, you know, build a life, the way I say it is build a life you're excited about living you're going to have a good life. Okay. Uh, number three, find a support group of peers who understand. So you're at a good place with that one. Number four, develop your spiritual side through daily practice. And I'm reading this, um, develop, you know, your spirituality that can mean different things for different people. And, um, my program does not, uh, have exclusive religious context of any type of religion, but, but getting back in touch with your heart, right? Get back in touch with your heart. Um, Five, stop managing and controlling others. You know, that, that whole process of letting go. Um, six, learn not to get hooked into the games. You can't get hooked into the games and have a life you want to live. Um, seven, courageously facing your own problems and shortcomings. Girl, let me turn the page. Um, eight, cultivate whatever needs to be developed in yourself. Nine, become selfish. I actually have a, a section of my program called, Is Self-Care Really Selfish? Um, and the way I kind of describe it is... Uh, would you guys like this group more? Would you like my lives more? Would you like the people, my clients, would they, would they like showing up with me more if I was more sad or more angry or a little more bitter or, um, more exhausted, you know, would, would, it, would I serve you better if I had not done the self work that I've done? And of course people laugh and they say no, um, but it's true for you too. It's true for your, the people you work for. It's true for the kids you raise. It's true for, um, the people you live with, your family, the good people in your life. They want the best version of you and you can't have the best version of you if you don't do the work of building a life you're excited about living. Um, and 10, share with others what you've experienced and learned, which um, is definitely my journey and my gift to you guys. And one of the things I learned this week was her list, which um, I agree with completely and uh, have, have my own version of my list. But I thought I would read that to you guys uh, and tell you happy Saturday. So you might want to make a list for yourself and go back and watch this video and say, um, are you doing these things? If you don't have the life you want, are you doing what others say um, needs to be done? And, you know, I say this stuff all the time, but sometimes it helps also to have, oh, this lady's backing me up. She she agrees with me. Uh, so I hope that helps. And I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Bye.